Every FMC needs to develop a process for educating and dealing with the sourcing and procurement departments. One of the things that the industry faces today, especially when we're going through the negotiations of a new contract, is having to deal with sourcing or procurement departments. And from an, from an FMC standpoint, you know, everyone has to develop a process for dealing with them. Typically, it's going to require a little more time and energy to educate the procurement people as to what we always do. So as a typical example is, you know, you'll hear from a procurement person, well, yes, I know you have a maintenance program and you have a fuel program and you do leasing, and so does everyone else. You know, but, but saying that would be the same thing as saying to someone, well, I use Windows 10 or I use OS 10. They're both operating systems, they're both the same. You know, there's a massive difference in how those go between those two products, and it's the same thing with an FMC. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. You know, and it's interesting too that procurement people focus on pricing, when actually the number one reason why someone wants to make a change is because of service issues, not for pricing issues.